Hi, I'm Larry Makovich, and I'd like to welcome you to this Zero Week 2013 On Demand. With me today is George Antoon, who's the Chief Operating Officer of First Solar. And George, thanks very much for being with us. Thank you for having me. You know, there's been a lot of attention, uh, as you might expect, uh, when the topic all week is energy and renewables in general, but solar in particular. And I think kind of the, one of the big reasons people are focusing on solar is the dramatic declines they've seen in the cost of solar panels. Maybe you could comment on what you've seen in the industry with regard to costs, kind of where we are today and, and where do you think we'll be a year or two from now? Well, I, I think uh, you're absolutely correct. Uh, there's a tremendous movement when it comes to cost and price in the industry with regards to solar panels and the overall system in general when it comes to solar and deploying solar plants and, and, and systems. Uh, it has to do with multiple things. Number one, the technology is moving very, very fast. It is a semi semiconductor based technology, so sometimes Moore's law applies to it to where things kind of like double up and capabilities get smaller and uh, at the end of the day the efficiency and the, uh, the benefits are doubled. Uh, but at the same time uh, there's a lot of uh, innovation throughout the whole system that is translating into a much more savings uh, for, for the customer at the end of the day. The way I see uh, solar uh, today as we speak is a, is a very competitive source uh, and it's actually very comparable to uh, traditional uh, sources such as oil, liquid fuels, and natural gas uh, out there. Of course, it depends on the application and the and the country and the region. But for example, a few years back, you used to talk about four dollars uh, per watt on a system, or and then today we're talking about dollar fifty. Uh, and I see it in the next two three years uh, to where we can be a dollar per watt for a system. This is very very comparable and very. Uh, uh, competitive uh, to uh, to our conventional methods today. So uh, at the end of the day I like to think of it as, as really a, the fundamentals are becoming very very strong with regards to becoming one of the alternative sources. Now there has been a lot of uh, subsidies to really promote solar because of the friendly environment you know the environmental stewardship on it. But uh, what we're trying to create at Force Solar is the is, is a sound fundamentals when it comes to the cost, and make sure that uh, the fact that uh, you have a very competitive uh, a solution that is stable, basically no pricing fluctuations along the way for the for 25 years. You, you, what you have is 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 basically calculated from day one. You will get it all the way through through 25 years. Uh, so that's number one, the fundamentals are very strong and the benefits are there in that it's clean, it's, it's uh, friendly to the environment. You know a lot of people talk about uh, the cost and performance of solar and the benchmark you hear oftentimes is a, a new natural gas fired plant in the U.S. But across this week we've heard a lot of discussion about how persistent this difference between oil price and gas price has mm -hmm. been. It's been a very wide differential and when you think globally a lot of the cost and performance advantages you've talked about against liquid fuel, so diesel or mm -hmm. oil-fired mm -hmm. generation in a lot of places yep. around, and even gas-fired generation in places where gas is expensive, right. Asia and Europe. Right. So the, the, <clears throat> the potential here for solar with these cost declines are really moving away from the policy push and a lot more towards the basic economics. Absol right? Absolutely. I mean, you're spot on. I mean, the big, big push and a big demand we're seeing right now is, is what we call a diesel replacement or, or basically allowing, allowing a solar system to, to provide energy to where you can, uh, you can cut the diesel uh, economics in 50 percent, 60 percent in most cases, right, to where you have a, a clean source. Uh, a, uh, saving you a tremendous amount of money and fluctuations really uh, by by eliminating diesel uh, trucks, diesel generators uh, and or other alternative really uh, fuel. You know so when you think of this solar story the dramatic shifts in technology you know you're doing thin film kind of yes. on the leading edge of thin yes. film and when you think about this shift from the government to the marketplace this is a pretty dynamic and interesting story. Is there a book here? <laughs> uh, I bet you there is a book someplace, yeah. somewhere, and, and I think uh, if there isn't one, I think that it needs to be written. I think First Solar has been uh, around for, uh, for 14 years. 
Uh, I think we've gone through a tremendous amount of ups and downs, but uh, I think the experience is there, the, uh, the models are there, the, uh, the uh, challenges are there, and, and we've attacked different regions, different places, different applications with, with different ways, but uh, we continue to fine-tune the story, and, and, and uh, as, as, uh, as Jim would tell you, our boss, our CEO, is, uh, you know, look for the wave and understand how you can build uh, in front of it and just pedal as, as hard as you can right. once you catch it. But, but there's definitely a book someplace. Uh, good, good. Well, thanks very much, George, for joining us this year at CIRA Week, uh, IHS On Demand. And uh, I'd like to thank you, and we'll keep our eye on all these cost trends, and hopefully next year we'll be able to catch up and see uh, where solar costs are a year or two down the road. Thanks. Thank you.